The storm of the season soaked the islands. Residents on the Big Island woke up to find the tops of Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa covered in white. These Mauna Kea observatory webcams showed that meteorologists' predictions were accurate. And it was a welcome sight for locals who were disappointed by the lack of significant snowfall last season. Ooh, we're glad they opened the road up. Island residents waited for the Mauna Kea Summit Access Road to reopen on Saturday, and when it did, the mountain was flooded with pickup trucks waiting to scoop up as much of the white stuff as possible. Um, take it home to the kids. Yeah. A couple families waiting at home, about 15 baby kids. We've been calling from 5 o'clock this morning until they open the road. Good. My brother's birthday. For some, it was a first-time experience. So we, we've seen a couple of pickups with, you know, loaded with snow. We don't quite have that with us today, but we're going to take a little snow back with us. Yeah. And Maybe then, make uh, a tiny snowman. And then go jump in the ocean. 44 up here and 82 down there. Yep. Others knew just what to do. From making snowmen to making snowballs to taking a quick trip down slope. Oh God. We're sledding. It's Hawaii and we're, style. And we're using we're using it to pick up the snow to bring it to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> we don't we didn't bring a shovel. Next year we'll remember. Or yeah. maybe later next, this year. Next time it's nice. That's a lot of activity for thirteen thousand feet above sea level where the altitude makes even minor exertion an exhausting experience. Although Mauna Kea often steals the show when it comes to wintry weather, equally impressive is the sight of snow-capped Mauna Loa, seen here from the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa are Hawaii's tallest peaks and get at least some snow every year, usually between October and March, although snow can fall any time from August to May. Forecasters are predicting lots of rain due to La Nina this season, and that could mean this will be a common sight this winter. Tim Bryan, Big Island Video News.